Welcome to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all what's up in the arts and culture world from the Middle East communities of the UK and in the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's up in the UK. The Asfad project takes up the topic of the alternative music scene in the Middle East and will be presented in the prestigious Victoria and Albert Museum. A self-produced semi-experimental film by Imeric Katnaz focuses on the music scene in Lebanon and follows artists such as Mashru Leila, Zaid Hamdan and the Wanton Bishops, capturing the spirit of daily life in Lebanon through interviews and footage of home concerts. You can catch the showing of this film on Friday the 24th of October. For tickets and info, go to vam.ac.uk. The composer, ethnomusicologist and virtuoso kanun player Maya Youssef is hitting the stage at St. Ethelburga Centre with her mesmerizing music. One of the UK's most exciting talents, she has gained prominence by giving vibrant performances all around the world. Recognized as an exceptional talent by England's Arts Council, her unique style combines the rich tradition of Syrian music with her own contemporary input. Maya Youssef will be perform performing on Saturday, October 25th, and you can get tickets and more information on stethelburgas.org. An exclusive library opening evening will take place at the Arab British Center. The so-called Bal Mall or the Banipal Arab British Center Library of Modern Art Literature will feature the growing collection of Arabic fiction, poetry, memoirs, plays and literary criticism that the center has been housing since 2009. On this special open evening, award-winning translator Jonathan Wright shall be guest speaker along with a chance to buy the works to discounted prices. For this lovely and free literary event, all you need to do is RSVP to info at arabbritishcenter.com uk by 27th of October. The event takes place on Thursday, 30th of October. Now, let's go and check out what's up in the Middle East. From the Lebanese artist and photographer Wachi comes the exhibition Souks de Beirut and Atlas. Presenting the three points of his lifetime when he's 20 in the bustling Beirut of the 70s, 40 in the ravaged post-war city and 60 today. Three generations, different realities and a window in the present tends to live and remember. The exhibition is now open at the Zawal Gallery in Beirut and runs until Saturday the 27th of October. For more information just go to plan-bay.com. And another exciting photography exhibition this time in Jordan and in the show Invisible Women by photographer Nadia Bseso. The exhibition sheds light on the personal lives and stories of women migrant workers. Ambitions for domestic workers are usually extinguished while garment workers race the clock for long hours to meet deadlines, suing brand clothing for shops they cannot afford. Many workers face excessive working hours, delays and non-payment of salaries, restrictions of movement and confiscations of their passport. This intriguing look into these women's lives is on exhibition until Thursday the 25th of October at Jadal for Knowledge and culture in Amman, Jordan. Now, let's take a look at Arabesque of the Week. Ladies and gentlemen, featuring in Arabesque this week will be the Safar Film Festival of Popular Arab Film. Besides checking out the highlights of this film's festival, we'll be sitting down to chat to some of the most exciting directors and actors present, hearing everything from what cinema is all about to how it is to work with greats like Omar Sharif. Join us for this inside exclusive of this popular festival on levant.tv slash arabesque. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit, visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a great evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and in the Middle East. Till then, take good care.